welcome back to a Lichino SMP Season 10. We are covered in diamond armor, got diamond tools, and that's all well and good. But we can do better. There is such thing as ancient debris, which is netherite. But we need to go and get it. Also, for getting this, we've got fire resistance potions, light blue bull, some logs. We're going to use a handful of these logs here. I'm making some stuff. Well, just at the start. Hmm. Could be good to have more than one chest for the things I'm going to be doing here. Start. Ship. Nether. And far. That'll work. Probably more logs. These all of our dark oak logs. Nice to have. And what we're also making here is a bunch of boots. <laughs> here, here we go. Spam right and left clicking. I've been playing beta Minecraft. Oh, this is going to be a great way to get our muscle memory all over the place. Eight boats for four chests. Mm. Let's do a few more. Well, maybe not quite that many. Or yes, that many. Or a few more on the floor. The rest of these can go in here. That'll work. I think we're also going to want more chests at the end. I, honestly, though, probably should make more. I'll throw this boat on the floor. That's fine. Depending on how many blocks we end up getting. More. One plank short. Make another chest. That's a work. And we'll go to the nether. So that is through here. Super convenient. And setting up the ice boat path with boats and chests. I'm gonna just make the whole thing more convenient. For everyone. Like three boats in here. That will ourselves get in a boat. It really is a very quick transportation method. So much better than having to slowly run our way around here. There we have. Okay, that's good enough. And we can put the chest over here. A few more boats. And then back in this boat. having a hard time. Yeah, it's turned around. That, that's probably what's helping. Beta boats versus modern boats. Also a whole situation. Okay. I'll put the boat chest here. Just make this whole situation better for everyone. 
if anyone else is actually here. Anyways. And, now we're here. So I'll put the oak chest right now. And I'll put the rest of the boats in here. But here is the far. And we probably should have brought ladders. We're gonna need more ladders. Luckily, going back is very easy. Easy and fast. Because I think we want to be... Towards the bottom of the nether here. Another rack. I put that there. <laughs> Let us. I mean, we could make ladders with this with this wood here. We've got enough. That's actually okay. That's a better plan. Let's grab. Some logs. Shift is a thing. Fantastic. 27? Yeah, that's probably not going to be enough. Basically, we want to get all the way down to the bottom here. Oh, that did not quite work. Did not quite work right there. That's a start. Back in the boat. This would be a maximum speed of getting around these corners. Just perfectly timing direction change. <clears throat> I don't really need the chests on the bar here. Put this boat away. Let's see if we can head down from here. Or if this is on a shelf. That's also highly possible. Oh. The pigs aren't too happy about it. We might want to... Secure things here would be an idea. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, yep, that's a fall. Mm. Although, we do have a bit of feather falling now. We could probably make this work. Oh yeah, one damage. That's not bad at all. There is a massive lava lake here, which is not ideal. We will see how that goes. Ideally, we'd have this actually matching up with where we want to be. That looks like a bit more of a fall than I'd like, though. So we can go this way first. We've got Feather Falling 3. Is it here? Feather Falling 4 is the thing, I think. That's a good start. What did we get? Yeah. Let's see. If we can't line this up effectively. Looking up seems to mostly be taking care of it. Walk over this way. So that is the hole there that we came through. I think we want either this one or the next one. I'm gonna do this in Netherrack. 
Probably cheaper. Um, this is here. This is that block. Making it here. Worst case scenario, we can replace all these. It's very easy to get materials, like netherrack, to no longer be where they currently are. There's definitely an exposed ladder on netherrack, which definitely is not the best idea, all things considered. But I only brought the one stack of cobblestone. So, here we are. Definitely would be an idea to replace this. I mean, I guess it depends how much more we actually make use of this ladder. Really, kind of depends how good of a location this is going to be. Oh, it's just right there. Except for the number of ladders, that's not quite right. Oh, nope, that's not right. Oh, see? Things like that. More ladders. And we're not to the bottom yet. We're at 41. We have 42 more ladders. Eh, might be about right. Might need a little bit more. Definitely churning through the wood here. Unfortunately. Let's finish this precarious ladder that we've made. One disadvantage of having the nether hub stuff all the way in the ceiling. Makes getting to the bottom a bit more of an effort. But it makes connecting everything together less annoying, so. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. And this isn't even technically the far. This is a few blocks away from the far where there's the ladder going down. There's already a ladder going down, so. It's good. Making a few fun holes for things to fall and people to fall. Right. Yeah, lava lake that way. And some lava over here. Hopefully we can mostly avoid that. That's the dream. Let's take this crafting table. There's lava right there. That doesn't bode well. Out of here. 27. Oh my goodness. I have more luck. No, not really. Okay. Seems like it's not super deep, which I guess is something. It's still gonna make this process slightly more annoying here. We'll get the ladder down to this level at least. We need to search a little bit for a slightly better location. 26. Just 
go this way a little. Ooh, gravel. How about here? How's this area look? Yeah, it's better. And if lava comes pouring in on us, that is the time to use the fire resistance. I think that worked. Weapon. We'll see how this goes. This room here as the storage area, I suppose. Good a spot as any. Yeah, chests out. And put various things in here. Music's a little loud. I have to change a lot of the settings when switching between Minecraft versions, unfortunately. We got two ancient debris. Don't need that many. Water bucket's not gonna help. Let's place down the crafting table. Because now. We are in the business of low battery life. <laughs> Noted. We need beds. <laughs> lots and lots of beds. To blow things up. Very fun. Really not gonna need bow and arrow, torches, ladders. Just trying to make some space here. Other pickaxe. Let's head down. And all of these falls we could also do with the feather falling, but that's fine. Alright. Bed. And here we go. Everything's on fire. We got some blackstone. Don't think we really want to go back that direction. Ah, we've blown up some of the ladders. Well, uh, isn't that unfortunate? We can fix that. We don't want to go back this way, because there's all this lava here. So I think we're mostly going to go this direction for right now. Feather falling. It works. So we didn't hit the bedrock down here. So that means we're fine in that department. Bed. Explosion. I want there to not be all this fire. So I can more easily see if there's anything behind the fire. Also, having all these fires to jump in, slightly, ha slightly hazardous. Got Blackstone. Probably just gonna deal with the floor fires. Because the ones in like nooks and crannies around don't really matter. There's lava right there. That's also gonna be a thing that's gonna happen. Lava. Falling in. Just how it's gonna be. Too low now. If we hit bedrock, there's not gonna be even a chance of something being right there, so. That's some quartz. Managed to mine fire there. That's something. Ancient debris. 
And a bed. That explodes. Don't have to look like a gravel. Can't yeah, watch the slide the two though. We did find one. Unfortunately, it is four per netherite. So we're at three now. Yeah, a little bit more. Shuffle can get into play here. Around for anything. Let's take the shield off so we can see better. Could make a custom shield sprite. Make it not as large and annoying. This is just a single block of lava. That's doable. Lava far enough away. Plenty of gravel. I'll take it. There we go. I'm currently on fire. Which is producing plenty of vision covering nonsense. I don't know if these can burn. That's kind of the whole idea of netherite is that things don't burn. So you would, you would think not. You never know. Taking a little bit of damage from the explosions. Nothing too major. And a bit here. Just the fact that this is a viable way of doing things. It's pretty wild. And we can play the another act for our troubles too. That's nice. You can still see the ladder way over there. Kind of just go in out in a line. Until there's problems. I think that's just gonna be one source block, it looks like. So we can deal with that. And now the lava's gone. Fantastic. So once that stops being there, this will be easier to cross back across. We are also technically immune to fire, so we could move forward more quickly without getting rid of all the fires. It's just a matter of uncovering as much area as quickly as possible. That's the idea of the whole explosions thing. And also the fact that you can't explode the debris really does make the whole thing pretty streamlined. There's some gold to explode. Not super excited about any gold nuggets or quartz right now. Definitely more in the business of getting the debris. There's a couple lava pools coming in. That's great. Let's see if we can block these off. debris and it's just kind of lying around 
out in the open, levitating. Pretty easy to see. Ow, that was too close. Ow. And yeah, we seem to have hit a lot of lava over here. So this way, mostly a bust. Let us make our way back. Go pick up another fire resistance potion. Because that'd be good to have. Since we are very likely to run into some more fire. Yeah, that is the main stopping thing here. If we end up running into a lava pool. Back to the storage. Where we can store edge. Shield here. Yeah, all done we got two more debris. So we have four. That's at least something. Grab more of this. Now we're basically out of wood, fortunately. Yes, this is also going to be very nice with the sheep farm, since we'll be able to bring that much more wool to bear at this problem. start making this whole area just a Swiss cheese cave. As we move to the sides. As far as we can. Gravel and lava here. Plug that up. Not much in the debris department. There are other ways to also get more debris. Like the fact that we already had one. I think it's from the deep dark. Something like that. Other ports. I'm looking for black stone, which makes the whole process slower because it has more blast resistance. Gold. not the most common thing to find, unfortunately. A lot of fire here. And there's also the possibility that we end up overlooking a piece. That's also possible. Very noticeable when they're just floating around. So that is the dream here. Blackstone, gold. Yep. Yeah. 
Hey, hey. Three? Three and one. There we go. That's what you want to see. Get rid of all the fires. I'm not going to test the idea that they are fire resistant. That seems like a massively bad idea. Very wasteful. Yeah, three in one chunk. I can work with that. That's much better. If we want to get all of our diamond equipment, netherite. It's going to be a lot of debris. But overall, it's pretty easy to find. Just a little bit of time. That's not a huge deal. This will go away. Gold, blackstone. Try not to jump back into the lava. We can avoid it. Oh, more lava here. Get out of here. Looks like it's still just single source blocks, though. So that's okay. If slightly annoying. Just appears pretty good though. So I'll take it. Oh. Ooh, potion of fire resistance, yeah. Oh, that's looking like a lava pool. this way. This way is the end. Well, it's a lava pool, not the end. The end is the end is a bunch of floating islands in the sky. Yeah. Anyways. We should probably have some kind of system for showing which direction it is back to the ladder. As long as we just keep it in a square here. We should be okay. Let's go this way. Fire, fire, fire. If you end up with the hole between them this large, it means you're not quite blasting far enough away. Because that means you're not uncovering more blocks on that side. That's alright though. Always a possibility that there's one like right behind this fire or something. But in general, just by the volume compared to the volume right behind this fire, you're more likely gonna find it by just finding it. Oh, there's some lava. Looks like probably one source block. So that can be dealt with. Maybe. There. Got some gold and 
quartz. Two things we don't want. I mean, they're okay, but not as good, obviously. Get around the lava here, continuing. More beds, more blasts. There is a lava pool from that side. We can't go that way. That's pretty clear. Yeah, the full large lava pools are definitely more of a problem. Beds. I almost have beds in this bunch. It does also produce a decent amount of netherrack from the explosions. Not that that's really a huge thing to be excited about. Netherrack is, in fact, pretty easy to come by. <laughs> Inside a chunk of blackstone. Not ideal. You can see from the size of this cave. But it works. It's like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't use one here. It'd be inefficient. What would really have been inefficient was not getting that. Give me that. That is four ancient debris on this trip. Amazing. And we still have three more beds. Ooh, another big chunk of blackstone, though. Yeah. Limited. Limited effect. Limited effect. And here is Lava Lake. I'm gonna say that's a maybe. I'm gonna say it's a yes. Let's not get trapped in here, shall we? Luckily, you don't need water breathing in lava. We got that going for us, I guess. I'll take what I can get, I suppose. That seems to have kind of limited the total directions we can go here. We've pretty much gotten to lava lake in every way. There's probably, there could be ways to get around the sides. But for now, I think what we kind of do want is an indicator of where the ladder is. It's definitely in here somewhere. In the constant stream of very similar rooms that are on fire. We went past it. It's a situation. Yes, I think we did. We were looking the wrong direction for the ladder. That explains it. Well, we have a few more beds left. Make one more, plus the ones we have here. We got eight. 
That's enough for two things. Another fire resistance on the bar. Ready to go. This many beds left. Armor is taking a little bit of damage from all the exploding. But it all has mending, so that's not actually a huge deal. Let's go here. One. Bit. To the left. Explosions cause a lot of fire. Fun fact. And sometimes probably the another accident to drop into the said fire. That's gonna cause less. Another blackstone chunk. Not ideal. I think we just made a TNT can in there. Essentially. Heal that back up. and having blocks kind of in the way does do a lot to decrease the explosion damage. We're out here literally playing with explosives. In fact. That, that was like half a heart. Not even a situation. likelihood of finding four more in here right now with this bunch of beds it's fairly low but it's worth a shot worth, worth a shot we need to think about what we want to use these first ones on Lavas do make quite the mess. It's not quite a, as huge of an issue in total as a lava lake. Still not great, though. Still not great. I'm trying to get behind him. getting a little low on beds. I'm going to whack the fire out with this stake. Does that make sense? More blackstone. More nothing. Two beds to go. We also need more potions of fire assistance. To deal with all this. It's like an air pocket up here. Wild.
Just a small pocket of lava there. Yeah, looks like it. Interesting. And we got the fun fire effect on us. Fantastic. Mm. Or Blackstone. That's what we really want. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely not the most engaging resource to try to find. At least this way. Oh, we found a few. I need to think of what I want to improve. Block this way. And there's slider. Also, we'll see how much of the stuff we've brought with us we can bring back. But it's not going to be all of it. Just based on the amount of netherrack. This, 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 this. Obviously the ancient debris. Bring the wool back just so we can remember that's how much wool I have. The last fire resistance potion. Things that aren't netherrack. Shield on. Netherrack. Oh. Alright. Easy as that. Well, <laughs> I assume we managed to make it to the top of this ladder, I guess. Thinking, probably the most important thing to improve would be a pickaxe. Then maybe a piece of armor. Maybe a sword. Depends on if it can reach another threshold. Sharpness 5. Oh, can improve that. Let's put another icon here to grab the boat. There we go. Zip back to the main area. Very slightly. Very cool. Works better with an inventory space, clearly. Yep. Back to base. Very convenient. Tunnel is convenient. Take ancient debris. Melt it down. I don't know if melting it down, technically. Find the nether rack chest. Yep. Now like we need more nether rack, clearly. We're gonna need some gold. We're gonna need a something. Smith table. Some cobblestone here. Need some iron, maybe.
I had stone. Stone bricks. See, those are not things. Cartography table. That's not it. Smithing table. Planks nine. Smithing table. Another right, scraps. Another right ingots. Times two. Now we make another right stuff. Yeah, let's let's put our first thing. Let's do the first thing we make another right hoe. Sounds like a great plan. Upgrade gear. Let's go with the fortune pick. Into a netherite fortune pick. Keeps all the enchantments. Very good. And then the diamond sword. Very cool. And there we go. Our first pieces of netherite. Going to be a lot more of that if we want to get everything netherite. Because we have another pickaxe, shovel, axe, full armor, like another shovel, another axe, a hoe. Would be a lot. But it is a possibility. And it's also one of the advancements. So that's something to work towards. I think going through the various advancements could be a fun way of setting some new goals here. So I think we will pick one of these to try to do. Next time. Goodbye.